Good morning, class. Today I will be introducing to you Theodore Roosevelt. He was the 26th President of the United States. He was known as a progressive reformer and a strong foreign policy upholder. In Roosevelt's early years before his presidency, he spent much of his time on his ranch territory within the Dakota Badlands. This is where he dealt with his sorrows after his mother and wife died the very same day. His wife at the time was Alice Lee Roosevelt. This is where Roosevelt mastered the saddle, driving cattle, and hunting big game. He, caught, he even caught a fugitive. Later, Roosevelt remarries when he visits London to a woman named Edith Carroll in December 1886. During the Spanish-American War, Roosevelt was a lieutenant colonel of the division known as the Rough Riders. Roosevelt led a charge at the Battle of San Juan, which was largely successful. Theodore Roosevelt became known as a war hero, winning much of the trust of the American people. Theodore Roosevelt became the 26th President of the United States after President William McKinley was assassinated. Roosevelt became the youngest president in the nation's history at the time. He was almost 43 years old. Roosevelt brought excitement to the presidency as he led the country with a fearless attitude. He was all about the people and for the people. He became known as the steward of the people. Roosevelt emerged as a trust buster by enforcing the dissolution of the Great Railroad Combination of the Northwest. Roosevelt furthered his trust busting acts under the Sherman acts that were to be followed. Teddy steered the United States more actively into politics. He had a favorite saying, speak softly and carry a big stick. Roosevelt knew there was a need for a route between the Atlantic and the Pacific, so he wanted to ensure the construction of the Panama Canal. The Monroe Doctrine prevented foreign countries from entering Latin America and the Caribbean, gave the United States the sole right to intervention in Latin America. Now here's a short video on Theodore Roosevelt's life. Theodore Roosevelt was born on October 27, 1858. He was a sickly child, and his asthmatic condition left him in bed during his early years. This made him unable to attend the local school, and as a result, he was homeschooled. When he wasn't studying, he was busy with naturalism, ornithology, hunting, and taxidermy, to name just a few. Roosevelt's father didn't cut him any slack because of his lack of health. Rather, he built his son a gym and had him lift weights and box. Gradually, this consistent exercise helped Theodore overcome his physical weakness. In 1876, he was admitted into Harvard College as a freshman. He actually was not an exceptional student and was viewed as a century and odd. However, he did rival many of his classmates in physical activities and ended up being runner-up at the Harvard Boxing Championship. Theodore met Alice Hathaway Lee in his junior year at Harvard, and in October of 1880 they were married. The same year he joined the Republican Party, and on November 8th of the next year was elected to the New York State Assembly. He wrote his first published work, The Naval War of 1812, which would establish him as a serious historian. In 1884, his firstborn daughter was born, but tragically, his wife Alice died soon after from Bright's disease, along with his mother on the same day. This devastated Theodore. He postponed further political involvement and withdrew to his ranch in the Badlands of Dakota. It was there that he became a prolific hunter and a deputy sheriff for the county. Not until 1886 did he return to his home in New York City, after a severe winter wiped out his herd of cattle. It was also later during this year that he remarried. He ran as the Republican candidate for mayor of New York City in 1886, portraying himself as the cowboy of the Dakotas. But he lost the race to Abram S. Hewitt, the son-in-law of former presidential candidate Peter Cooper. On May 5, 1895, he became the police commissioner of New York City and earned acclaim by fighting police corruption. He was appointed to the post of assistant secretary of the Navy by President William McKinley two years later in 1897. The Spanish-American War broke out during this time. Not being one to avoid the action, he promptly resigned and led a small regiment in Cuba known as the Rough Riders, earning a nomination for the Medal of Honor. After the war, he returned to New York and was elected governor in a closely fought election. Theodore was elected vice president on March 4, 1901, but he didn't keep that position for long. Six months later, President McKinley was assassinated, and Theodore took the oath of office at age 42. During his presidency, he passed significant laws, such as the Meat Inspection Act of 1906 and the Pure Food and Drug Act. His policies were openly progressive in nature, and he is famous for having coined the phrase, square deal, meaning that the average citizen would get a fair share under his policies. His foreign policies were characterized by his slogan, speak softly and carry a big stick. His chapter in life as president came to a close after serving two presidential terms by 1909. Soon after leaving office, he embarked on a safari trip to Africa. He and his friends killed or trapped more than 11,397 animals. They captured a vast variety 
ranging from insects and mollusks to hippopotamuses and elephants. These animals were mounted and sent to the Smithsonian, but because of the huge amount of specimens collected, many were sent to smaller museums. He returned to the U.S. in 1910 and was immediately unimpressed with the policies of his presidential successor, William Howard Taft. As a result, he decided to run for president again, but was denied entry into the race by the Republicans. He then formed his own independent party, the Bull Moose Party. While campaigning in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on October 14th of 1912, he was shot by a saloon keeper. He declined medical attention and instead delivered a scheduled speech which lasted 90 minutes. There were three contenders in the election that year, Republican Taft, Roosevelt, and Democrat Woodrow Wilson. While he beat Taft, he lost the election to Wilson. The life of Theodore Roosevelt was a remarkable one, and his accomplishments nothing short of astounding. He was one of the first presidents to fly an airplane, go underwater in a submarine, and have a telephone in his home. He not only was the first president to be awarded the Nobel Prize, but also the first American. He authored 26 books and contributed over a thousand articles for magazines. He continued to be an avid adventurer, and in 1913 embarked on a major expedition to South America, where he contracted malaria which weakened his health. On January 6, 1919, Theodore Roosevelt passed away in his sleep at the age of 60. It was said that death had to take Roosevelt sleeping, for if he had been awake, there would have been a fight. Although some of his political policies and actions remain the subject of controversy and critique, his incredible courage and stamina, his adventures, and his honest and forthright character and personality still continue to inspire us today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Theodore Roosevelt happens to be my favorite president, so it was really exciting for me for, to teach you about him. Um, keep an eye out for him on the test, though, because he's pretty important. I had his whole slideshow dedicated to him. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.